Hey guys, we're going to go over in this video how we can refactor this code right here where we check if the user is authenticated. Uh, reason for this is if we ever want to make any changes to this, we don't want to go around and have to change every if statement that we use this in. So I'm going to be showing you three different methods to do this so you can pick your favorite. Um, two of them are going to be using libraries. So the first library we're going to take a look at is GraphQL middleware and the second is GraphQL shield. So if you want, you can download both of these ahead of time. Have already done so, um, you can just run yarn add GraphQL shield and GraphQL middleware. Luckily, both of them are written in TypeScript, so they already have great types, so that's awesome. Now, before we even look at those two libraries, though, I want to show you a really simple solution to this. We don't really need to add a library for this. Uh, we can just add a function that does it. So I can create a folder inside of modules called shared. Uh, and I guess we can just put some shared code in here that all our modules are using. So for example, um, is authenticated, right? And I can just say, I, I can just export this function, is authenticated, and I can put that logic in here. And then we'll just pass the session in as a uh, parameter. Now I don't really know the type of this. If we hover, see if it shows us over here. Um, we're also using it in create. All right, so it's session. And we're using that um, not from inspector. There we go. And we're gonna have to go up a few directories. There we go. So this is a type that we created in GraphQL utils. And uh, we now have this logic uh, in a function that we can just call. So now over here um, in delete listing, I can say is authenticated and check the session. And I can do the same thing for the create. And I don't think we need to log anymore. All right, so this imported from root weird place. We're gonna say up to, and did it do the same thing over here? Yeah, it did, okay. All right, so nice. And honestly, I think this is pretty good. Now, I would actually, if I was just doing this project for real, I would probably stay like this and just use the function like this until I needed something more complex because um, this pretty much handles what we need to do and it's very simple we didn't have to add a library or anything um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the two other options and for this project I'm going to opt for GraphQL middleware because I think that's uh, one I like that one the best and uh, it's the most flexible which we're about to see so uh, let's test this out real quick before we check out the libraries so here's our delete listing we can run it and we can see we still get not authenticated. Let's refresh so we can actually see and make sure. Yeah, okay, good. And again, no cookies. All right, so that's one way. Let's go ahead and try the second way. So we're gonna come over here to start server and we're pretty much just gonna follow the um, hello world for this. So if you wanna do that, basically how it works is uh, we're going to create uh, what looks like a resolver. So we're basically just creating a resolver that runs before our resolver. So let's go ahead and uh, import apply middleware. Now you can actually uh, use this directly with uh, GraphQL Yoga, which is currently the server we're using. So if you want to, I believe there's a middleware. Yep, so there's a middleware property that you can actually just pass directly into this. Now uh, I'm planning on possibly switching over the server to Apollo. So if I do that, uh, they don't really support that middleware prop, so we're going to use apply middleware so it's compatible no matter what server we're using. Uh, so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to say schema, and here's our schema that we're generating here. And we're going to say apply middleware, and then we pass in our schema as the first parameter, and the second is our middleware. Um, I'm just going to say middleware. 
I don't know if I uh, have created anything with the name middleware yet. And I'm going to create a file called middleware. And so we're going to create this in a second, but we're just going to pass um, that schema now uh, is what we're going to pass to our server. Now let's go ahead and create this. And we can kind of copy the little template they have here. And I'm going to export this. So export middleware. And I'm just going to import it over here. See if it'll import correctly. Um, not remotely well. Import from middleware. All right, so now we just have to fill this out. And so here's how this works. So you basically have this mirror, how your structure looks like over here. So if we look at our create, so we want to add authentication logic to create over here and to delete. And again, I'm just going to comment this out real quick. So we're not doing double authentication. So this is a mutation and then inside of mutation is create listing. So we're going to follow the same structure um, in our middleware over here. So it's going to be mutation and then create listing. And now how this works is I'm going to say these are anything. Um, now you could actually uh, put the types for maybe the context and whatnot, um, but I'm going to keep it as anything for now. And now resolve is the uh, actual function. So resolve is this, is this function right here. So it basically gives you access to it. So you can change up the arguments and whatnot that you actually get passed into that. We're not going to do any kind of uh, thing like that. We're just going to return um, what resolve does and we're going to pass the args there. But before that, that's where we're going to put in our logic where we check. Uh, so we can copy the is authenticated logic, paste that in, and the session we get from the context. Um, and now if we want to do this for the delete, and again, we want to just copy that structure, so mutation, delete listing. And it's going to take these same parameters. And now we want to do basically the same thing that we're doing here. So we could create a function is authenticated, is authenticated. And it's just going to follow the same uh, flow. All right, so. Now I can call is authenticated on both of them. So now this logic is going to run on create listing and delete listing. So what's going to happen is we're going to check whether the user is logged in. If they're not, we throw not authenticated. Otherwise, we just call the regular resolve function, uh, whatever they have. All right, so let's give this a try and see this in action. Um, let's hop over to my server real quick. It's restarted uh, with no errors too, so that's important. And uh, let's go ahead and run this, and we get not authenticated. And uh, just to make sure we this is correctly coming from this middleware, let's say not authenticated from GraphQL middleware. And we'll let that restart. And so one thing I really like about uh, this sort of setup in GraphQL middleware is I can change what goes into the arguments here. So for example, if I want to fetch the user and pass that in as a context, um, I could if I wanted to, if for some reason I need it. So uh, that's really nice. So this restarted, let's run it, and cool, we do get that error message. All right, so the next one I want to look at is how you do the same thing with GraphQL Shield. This is another really popular one. Um, I would say this one in GraphQL Yoga or GraphQL Middleware are the most popular uh, kind of middleware packages for doing authentication and whatnot. And with this one, it is um, 
a little bit easier to reuse stuff over the plate all over the place which you'll see um, you can do not is authenticated um, and an or stuff together which is pretty nice um, but uh, I don't think you get this same flexibility where I can just change any of these values uh, before they get passed into the resolve function which I really like but all right let's give this a try so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and we'll put this in the start server and it's basically going to follow the, almost the same pattern that we did for the middleware over here. Um, let's go ahead and instead of apply middleware for this, I think, um, it, is it called shield? Yeah, and you, they have, uh, yeah, they actually use apply middleware as well. And again, this is built into um, GraphQL Yoga. If you want to do it like this, you could as well. So we're going to import apply middleware from GraphQL shield and we're actually not going to build the shield here so I'm going to get rid of that um, it's not exported oh we oh, okay so it uses uh, GraphQL middleware actually to apply GraphQL shield okay so we can uncomment that and we can just do that all right and then we're gonna create a new I'm going to say this is going to be a shield.ts. Uh, and we can copy this stuff here because it's going to be kind of similar. And uh, let's go ahead and copy this rule. And we're going to copy the import. And then we're going to build our shield. So. It's going to be almost the same thing we use here, except now we're going to wrap this with a shield. Um, okay, we're just using is authenticated twice. That's why we're getting errors. And I'm going to make this into a rule. And uh, I don't really need this to be uh, async because we're not doing any async logic. Uh, the difference for this function also, and I'm going to comment this, is we don't have access to this resolve function. So we just return true or false, uh, and I don't think we actually have to throw the error. I think uh, GraphQL Shield does that for us. So, oh, and we need to wrap this one more time. There we go. So our function right here is actually the second parameter to rule so make sure you do parentheses and then the second parentheses is the whole function so here we're going to say it is authenticated is going to be true if context.session.userid and uh, I'm putting exclamation point twice here reason for that is uh, to convert this into a boolean value and then we're just going to say we're not using those two variables. And now you saw with the example over here that we can actually say um, not and all that stuff, or we can just directly pass it in. So in this case, we want to check if the user is authenticated. Um, and I think we can do it just like so. And we don't need to use any of these over here. Uh, but the nice thing about GraphQL Shield is it actually comes with some other perks like caching and whatnot. So do check out the README for GraphQL Shield if you want to uh, investigate it more. Um, all right, so our server passed. Go ahead and uh, okay, not authenticated from GraphQL middleware. I think I'm just still uh, uh, at applying middleware. Let's see. Let's look for it. Yep, I'm just doing it to the middleware. Let's change that to our shield. Um, I'm gonna rename this to shield. Actually, I guess we're using, I'm gonna say middleware shield. There we go. Dot slash, and we can comment this out for now. make sure this isn't crashing and then we'll give it a try give it a refresh 
I'm actually not sure what air message that GraphQL Shield throws. I haven't used GraphQL Shield very much. Um, okay, they spell it kind of funny, authorized. Or maybe I'm spelling it weird. I was thinking it was with a Z. Um, but there you go. So that's how you would set up with GraphQL Shield. Those are the three ways you can do it. Uh, like I said, we really don't need either library because it's so simple right now, and we don't really need much more than what we have. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and keep the GraphQL middleware. Um, I'm going to just comment out the shield. If you want to use the shield, you can use the shield. Or if you want to use just a regular function, you can. Choose whichever one you like. Personally, this one's my favorite because this. I feel like GraphQL Shield is very good for setting up authentication sort of stuff. Um, but what I really like about the middleware is that uh, this this is more flexible so I can use it for maybe caching, uh, doing logging, other sort of things which are really nice. And uh, one thing you could also do is you could mix them. There's no reason why you can't mix these things two together, um, or at least I don't see why not. So if you want to do that, you can as well. If you want to use GraphQL Shield for auth and then GraphQL Middleware for other things if you want. Because uh, GraphQL Shield is built on top of GraphQL Middleware. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.